Okay, I put out a couple videos uh, here recently about Grenier's and I realized that the size of the markings weren't really visible and it wasn't clearly understood. So what I've done here is I am trying to explain this on a Grenier that is set up for um, our smaller increments of five thousandths. Our coarse scale here is in zero, ten thousandths, twenty, thirty thousandths. The in-between marks are five thousandths of an inch apart. And in real measurements, while this scale is five thousandths of an inch apart, it's actually a half inch. So we have a hundred to one on what we're actually looking at here so that we can watch it. And the phone is ringing. <laughs> Okay, so back to this, Phone, phone's over. And what we've got is we have these uh, half inch increments here and 600 uh, thousandths over here. It's the difference of the two is where the, they line up. The same as in a harmonic frequency, the same thing you get with a beat frequency, a, uh, the Doppler effect if you're going to or away. Just various places you may or may not have heard of this. But if we notice, just to look at this in general, we have the 30 thousandths is lining up with the zero. 60 thousandths over here is lining up with the five. And if we move that, what would be one thousandths, now we have the four lining up. And we'll find that there's other numbers that line up again too. We have the one over here. And that's because we've moved it in a positive direction, one thousandths. Or if we're looking at the other side, it would be taking one thousandths away, which leaves us at four. If we come to three on this one, then we're lining up with two on the other side, and so on, on down the line, as you see your amount of movement. If you go three, and then we go four lining up, then we go five lining up. So if we were to come back here, let's say that we started at a 20 thousandths inch measurement, and we wanted to move to 21, we'd come forward to where the next line lines up with the one. If we wanted to come to 22, we'd look for the 22 to line up. But if we come all the way back, let's start over at, uh, let's say we just wanna go to pick a number 17. So we could go to, uh, from starting at zero, then we go 10 thousandths here, and then we're gonna go five thousandths, the in between, so that would put us at 15. And now we don't count, but we know we want to go to two. So we would move so that the two lines up with whatever number is next to it. And that would be a movement of 17 thousandths from the point of zero to zero.